eyes are so tired. Why? Hey everyone, Kelly here. Today I am so excited because I finally got in my fairy loot box. So we're gonna do a nice little unboxing. I love doing these. I just have so much fun and yeah, hopefully you enjoy them because I need to open the box anyway. So might as well do it for you and me at the same time. So before I get started, just wanna remind everyone to please like and subscribe below if you like the content I bring you and let's get started. <laughs> So I have my handy dandy scalpel here, which I love, honestly. Psycho, but anyways, I love it. Okay. I don't even know if I went through. There we go. So good. Way better than a freaking X-Acto knife, better than uh, a pair of scissors, or sometimes I would use a pen to open a box scalpels anyways okay here we go i believe this is the august box yeah because it's now september okay this is the august box and i think this box has two books oh my god i'm so excited okay <laughs> let's see if i can open it's so like oh i guess you can't really okay here we go okay we have our confetti here already a book here okay whoa 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 where is the card <laughs> why did they do this to me I Arthur's here I don't like when they put the info card at the bottom because now I have to like root through everything and spoil it for myself just to get the card <laughs> okay Okay, I'm not gonna look. I'm just going to grab the card. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Okay, this was the illustration to uh, tease us the theme. And the theme is Love Struck. I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> okay. We had such positive feedback on our last literary tray that we knew we must include another one. Your new tray has a beautiful design by at Stella Bookish Art and a quote from Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas. Cute. Okay. There is a tray. Oh, you know what? No, I think that's the item. I got an email saying one of my items is going to ship later. So disappointed. That's okay. So I don't have a tray to show you, but we must press on. New pin alert. Cool. Some amazing love stories unraveled in the story of Caraval by Stephanie Garber. I don't know if you say Caraval, Caraval, Caraval. It's like a carnival, so Caraval. Let's go with that. Some amazing love stories unraveled in the story of Caraval by Stephanie Garber, so we had to include an item based on the fandom. We hope you'll love this pin designed by the lovely at Felfira Moon Designs. Okay, cool. So I did read the first Caraval. I haven't finished the series, but I did enjoy it. So here's our cute, whoops, little envelope. And let's see. Oh, that's so cute. Here's upside down on the little backing cardboard, but Oh my god, that's so cute. It says Caraval, and you have the nice circus tents there. That's so cute. Oh, okay. You can pin your new pin on this beautiful pin banner. I already have a pin banner. Now I have another one. Sweet. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with these banners. Maybe hang them up. The stunning design is created by at Blanca.design or at Blanca.design, Kelly. And the golden foil details really make it come alive. The banner is inspired by These Violent Delights by Chloe Gong. I need to read that book. I, I'm a Shakespeare nut and I need to read it, okay? Here's the banner. Ooh! Okay, it's like a little like bird cage almost. 
I know this is not the way you hang it. I just want to see the picture, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think this is cute. Nice gold design. The other banner I have is from the January box where it was Greek mythology. And so it's a black one with like white details. It's nice. But I think this one's a little nicer. Just saying. So anyways, <laughs> we're also including a pencil case for your stationery. Okay, I'm here for it. It features a beautiful quote from A River of Royal Blood by Amanda Joy. Haven't read it. So we'll see how beautiful the quote is to me. <laughs> Make sure to pack your pens, pencils, and tabs so you can really mark every romantic scene in your book. Are these books going to be steamy? I don't know. But it is love struck, so... Something. Okay. <laughs> pencil case. Oh! It's a big-ass pencil case, Yvonne. <laughs> okay. It says, the world is wild with untamed things. Okay. Here's what it looks like. It's like dark purple with some red flowers and daggers and bones and antlers and a little moon detail on the top. Crescent moon. Very nice. And it's good. Oh, yeah. Inside it's soft. It's like black. Um, not quite velour. <laughs> no, it's not velour, but it's like something similar to that. And it's like a rubbery kind of vinyl on the outside. So that's nice. It's like durable and hopefully it won't get scuffed up. Cause I hate when, when your nice pencil cases get all scuffed up from like pen lead or pen lead, <sighs> pencil lead and pens and stuff. So cute. I feel like this is very fall, not so summery for August, the colors, but very cute. So I can definitely use another pencil case. <laughs> Yeah. This month's box comes not with one, but two gorgeous books. Yes, I'm so excited. Your copy of After Love by Tanya Byrne has a beautiful exclusive cover, sprayed edges, and a digital signature. Okay. After Love is a beautiful sapphic love story about a connection strong enough to challenge death itself. Ooh, okay. <gasps> oh, yeah. Okay, this is so pretty. Oh, sorry, I keep seeing new details. Okay, this is the cover. This is so beautiful. Wow. Not even death will tear them apart. And then you can see the bright pink sprayed edges. Normally I would not be into this kind of neon pink, but it works so well with the cover. Wow, okay, yeah, this is stunning. Wow. And this is probably a book that I would not have picked up on my own just because like I find, oh, hmm, the cover is all scratched. Yeah, it's scratched. Oh, okay. I'll deal with the scratch. That's fine. Look at the inside. Okay. Look at that. Wow. Okay. Is it there on the back too? Yes, it is. Look at you, Tanya. Okay. Okay, Tanya, you've won me. Tanya, Tanya, we'll figure it out. Okay, so yeah, I normally wouldn't have picked this book up because I'm not usually into YA contemporary books, just me personally. Um, but this looks so sweet and it's a little spooky sounding. So it might be good for October. It says here, car headlights. The last thing Ash hears is the snap of breaking glass as the windscreen hits her and shatters into a million pieces like stars. But she made it. She's still here. Or is she? This New Year's Eve, Ash gets an invitation from the afterlife she can't decline to join a clan of fierce girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. But Ash can't forget her first love, Poppy, and she will do anything to see her again, even if it means they only get a few more days together, dead or alive. Oh my god, okay. This should be fun. This should be fun, and it looks like a pretty quick read. Wow, these pages. Oh my god. I just, yeah, I can't stop looking at the cover. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is really nice, okay. Yeah, I, 
I'm excited to read that. I think that's going to be fun. Okay, almost at the end here. This is going to be a pretty short video. I'm pretty surprised because normally I take forever, so sorry. This month's collectible tarot cards are the Ace and Two of Pentacles. They are designed by at Morgana Zero Anagram and are inspired by Carval by Stephanie Garber. Cool. Okay, let's see. How do they put those on the bottom? Okay. Oh, okay, cool. So here we go. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> I have read the first one, but is it supposed to be the main characters? I'm not sure, but who else would it be? I don't know. I don't know, but they are very lovely. I love the pentacles in the background there. I think that's so cute. I'm over here too. But yeah, here you go. And the back as always. So nice. And last but not least, we have our book. So here we go. Our featured book of the month is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. It's a sexy, action-packed fantasy about a girl who is caught between two treacherous fairy courts. The Fairy Loot Exclusive Edition has an exclusive cover, stencil, and sprayed edges, artwork on the reverse of the dust jacket by at Sasha C underscore art, and is signed by the author. Don't forget to check out the author letter and the beautiful artwork on the other side, also by the amazing at Sasha C underscore art. Okay. I figured it was going to be this book, and I gotta say, I was really excited for this book. I actually am already reading it. <laughs> I'm reading it on my Kobo because I found it for free on my, is it Kobo Plus or Kobo VIP? One of those things. It was for free because I pay a monthly fee for that stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm already like halfway through, but maybe I'll switch to this pretty edition instead of my Kobo because why not? So I'm so excited to see what this looks like because this book was on my most anticipated reads of the year because I love fey books. So let's see. And if it's going to be a romance, I'm here for it. So I'm excited. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Are we ready? I'm not ready. Okay. I'm trying not to look. Okay, ready? Oh, Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? This is giving me from Blood and Ash vibes, and I'm not mad. So, <laughs> okay, the cover says a heart is a dangerous thing to steal. Mm -hmm. So, that is the cover. Oh, <laughs> okay. We have some suns on the side there. And orange, orange is not my favorite color, sorry to say, but it works with this cover because we have the leaves there. And the back says, the king was right about one thing. I am a great thief. I can steal just about anything, but a fairy prince's heart, I wouldn't know where to start. I think you do know. <laughs> Anyways, okay, and so, I'm just seeing if there's any, oh, this map is so nice. This is not a special part of the book, but it is very nice, I gotta say. We love a nice legible map, okay. Oh, we got a nice little signature there, cute. Okay, I'm excited to see this fan art because, yeah. Or wait, let's look at the letter first because I feel like, I don't know, I just wanna wait. <laughs> oh, okay, look at her. <laughs> She's ready to steal something, okay? <laughs> this must be Abriella. That's the main character. They call her Brie for short. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, okay. The fan art inside, or on the reverse of the dust jacket. Here we go. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Wow, this is, <laughs> oh, why is it ripped? <laughs> I get so sad when it's like nicked up. But anyways, okay. Um, I love this, even though one of them looks a little crazy. <laughs> he looks really angry, scary. 
<laughs> but it's very dark. I'm trying to see what you can see. So this is Abriella in between the two Faye men. Um, the one on the left, or yeah, her left, her left, no, her right. Oh my God, Kelly. That's Finn. And the one on her left is Sebastian. She calls him Bash for short. <sighs> wow. Okay. This is quite nice. It's very dark, but this is pretty cool. I like this. And I like, cause I've already started reading the book. So I like, I'm getting, <laughs> I'm seeing some things I recognize. So the dress she wears, um, when she goes into the Fae Prince's kingdom, when she crosses over to the Fae world. Oh, there's more. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. I love seeing foiled designs on the actual book like I just love that so we have the two men here again and the title on the side these hollow vows <sighs> love it okay so yeah I don't want to give too much info away about this book because I am in the middle of it so I don't want to get into spoilers you know but essentially it is what the back of the book suggested so she has to go to the fey land and what happens is her sister gets taken um, as like a slave, basically, to pay off her indenture or the contract that is against her, I guess, because for whatever reason, she had to make a bargain with someone um, and now she's trying to pay them off and she's never going to be able to pay them off, right? Of course, kind of like a student loan, but on your life, which sometimes it feels like, doesn't it? So, um... <laughs> So she has to go to the Feyland to try to rescue her sister. And part of that is she needs to win the prince's heart. So yeah, some games are afoot and hopefully some steamy times. I'm about halfway through and I have not seen any steam yet. However, I do enjoy the story. So I will probably give a little review of that after and I'm gonna finish in my nice edition because why not? It's better than reading my little Kobo. I do like my Kobo, but hello, you've got a pretty hardcover. Why would I not read it? So yeah, that's it for today. Just a quick little unboxing. I'm, I liked this box. And also we need one more item because it's gonna ship later. So when I get that, I will show you. It'll probably be in my September box. So yeah, I am happy. Honestly, I love Faye. I love this theme, Love Struck. I'm here for it. Look at this picture. Like, okay. I'm curious though, where is this picture from? Because I don't think it's from these Hall of Vows. And I don't think it's from After Love because this is a sapphic romance. So <laughs> who are these two? I want to know because I'm intrigued. I would read this book. Yeah. He's holding a magical book and a dagger or a sword and she has this like glowing orb in front of his chest and she's kissing him. I'm here for it. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day and yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.